Good morning. Good morning. Now, now, good morning to the Kurt. Good morning to any of those who are listening, who are passing by. I often say similar things every Sunday. But this Sunday, I, in my study, I ran across a scripture, and the scripture was, "And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together." as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much that the more as ye see the day approaching. And I know I tell you that you can serve God anywhere and you can. I mean, he's in, he's in your home as well, but there's something that happens when we come together that, that, that when we're in assembly together, that when I'm weak, you uh, may be strong or when I'm strong, you may be weak. So I invite you today to praise the God at home today, but if you can and if you will, we invite you to come out to our Sunday services inside our building. Amen. Bless you, bless you, Kirk. It is it's indeed a pleasure, a privilege uh, to just be alive today. For this is the day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I just, I just want to piggyback on what Pastor Jefferson said. Uh, I, I would just love for you, for all of us to worship in the beauty of holiness, that we can come together, one sign, uh, uh, under, under one voice, under, under one roof. Um, and so I, I, I encourage you, today you're here, but I want you to put within your spirit that you would want to come on in and, and let us worship him in the beauty of holiness. I celebrate you. I thank God for each and every one of you. And I want you to forever and forever remember that the Lord loves you. Forget about yesterday. Forget about yesterday. He woke you up this morning. Let's celebrate him in our worship and in our praise. God bless you. welcome you. This is Mission Women's Mission a Sunday, and, and I'm here to do a prayer, and hopefully on behalf of everyone that's here, I want to take this moment, because there will be many other prayers, is to just praise the Lord. We're not, just for a moment, I am not going to ask God for anything. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So He's provided us with everything. Yes, sir. And so one thing that we uh, want to do today, I think the pastor said it, we came to worship God. Amen. Um, but mostly we came to thank him. Yes. 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 For all yes. the things that he has done. Yes. yes. My feelings. Yes. But um, <laughs> Heavenly Father, 
Yes, yes Lord. Yes, and, Lord. And I first of all thank you for waking us up this morning. Yeah. And that we yeah. had a mind, and, and that comes from you, Lord. We had a mind and a desire to gather yes, together on this yes, day yes, to Lord. worship yes, your name yes, and to praise you. All of those here in the sanctuary and all of those that are listening somewhere else. Yes. Um, we thank you for that, Lord. Yes. We thank you. Um, for, for everything, Lord. You have provided all things yeah, to us. Yeah, yeah. My God. That's why I say for this moment, I have nothing to ask you for. But you yeah. provided this yeah. name to us, Lord, because you yeah. said, forsake not the gathering of yourselves together. Yeah. And, and that's for us, Lord. This day is for us, this moment where we can yeah. spend time in case we haven't done yeah. it in the rest of the week, we can spend time this morning yeah. praising the Lord yeah. and telling you how much you love. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, for the yeah. grace and your mercy. We thank you for your son's blood that gives us access yes. to yes. come to the throne, Lord. Yes. Um, whether we're good, the bad, the ugly, we can yes. still come to you because yeah. of the price of yeah. blood. Yeah. And we thank you for that, Lord. Thank you. We thank you that you have blessed us when we didn't deserve a blessing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that you have favored us, Lord, when we yeah. were not favorable. Yeah. 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 And you loved us, Lord, even before we loved you. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now we love you, Lord. Because yes. now we know you, Lord. Yes. And we love you. Yes. And we thank yes. you. Yes. And we praise your holy name. Yes. Lord, that you are worthy yes. to be yes. praised. Yes. And that's why we gather in here this day and yes. this moment to praise you, and I hope yeah. our hearts and minds are in a prayerful and yeah. praiseful uh, uh, mood. Yes. Because yeah. yeah. we thank you. What I would like to do, Lord, is for all of those under the sound of my voice to just say hallelujah to the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Amen.
Good morning. Good morning. I know you heard the greeting outside. Get the ready. Good morning. Good morning. I thought you could hear me well enough, but I want to make sure you hear me. Amen. Amen. We've had that scripture repeated over and over and over again. Forsake not the assembly of ourselves together. You know, I, and, I, and I would be remiss if I wouldn't talk about football and stuff like that. But here we are. We are here. We're missing, missing football. We're missing all those things. If we're going to be here, we might as well enjoy ourselves. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know we can hear more than that. Because if your team was still in it, you would be yelling to the top of your lungs. I, 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 you know they get quiet. You know, you know, you know they get quiet because I know some of y'all, right? I know how you feel about your team. So that same enthusiasm that you give at home to your team, the Lord requires. Do you hear what I said? I didn't say he asked. He requires that same from you here. Yes. So if you decided that you were going to come here and you weren't going to give him nothing, you're at the wrong place. I'm not trying to tell you to turn no flips, but I am trying to tell you to express yourself yeah. to the Lord. Because the Bible says that he inhabits, you know what I said? He inhabits the praises of his people. And so if he inhabits the praises of his people, that says that when he brings he gets all excited and he's in the midst of it with you. So if you want to have a party with the Lord, praise him right now. Praise him right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Good morning, church. Good morning. We come to you this morning to praise the Lord. We want you to join in and praise Him with you. We are in His sanctuary. Yeah. And in His sanctuary, we want to give Him all the glory, yeah. all the praise, yeah. and all the honor. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 
let the church say amen. 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 Once more again. Amen. Now we came here to give him some praise. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, sure. yeah. He woke you up this morning. Yes, sir. Activity yes, sir. of your limbs. Yes, sir. You have a right mind. Yes, sir. Yeah. I don't know about you all. From the moment that he opened my eyes, I had to give him praise. Yes, sir. Yeah. We have to learn start praising him before we get to the sanctuary. That's right. That's right. And it makes it easy. Yeah. You don't know but the very person that's in your row, their spirit is, is needing your worship. Oh, amen. Hmm. See, this is the purpose. There's a mystery. All right. The mystery in worship is, is that when we one come and go, yes, sir. and that's the honor Extol the Lord. Yes. One come and go. Yes. In that, watch this. He inhabits. Yes, sir. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Here's the mystery. Because worship is a mystery. Uh -huh. yes. The enemy never wants you to get here. That's right, right, right. Yeah. 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 Because the mystery is if you get here uh -huh. and you honor, uh -huh. you worship him. Yes, sir. What happens is he's going to download huh. in you what you need to face your tomorrow. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah, he's going to he's gonna try to keep your tongue silent. Yeah. Because what he want to do is to destroy your tomorrow. Yes. Huh. But you need to tell him right now, the devil you are lying. Yes. Yes. It's worship time. Yes. Yes. And I honor each and every one of you to all of you here and even those that are watching by way of Facebook, we honor you. God bless you. For those that don't know me, I'm Dr. Sidney L. Miller. I am the pastor elect. I'm the new pastor. And it's going to, we've been having an awesome time Amen. this whole month. Uh, it's been powerful with Fresh Start. It's been our theme this whole month. I'm just going to give you all just a sneak preview of Lord's Willing next month because we will definitely be dealing with love. All right. Amen. So we'll be dealing with, with married love. All right. And we'll be dealing with godly love. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we're going to be dealing with love. So I tell you, tell your children if they're in the vicinity, but we need to come out because it's right. going to, we substitute just to have a, a, a whole marriage conference. Yeah, yeah. I believe that it's needed in this hour considering that the married now, the, the longevity according to according to the research is now six months. Wow. Marriage is only lasting for six months. Wow. And then for those that are seeking someone to, to be entangled with, yeah. you have to understand even in that, you gotta learn what it means to be equally yoked. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's not just because somebody come to church and say that I, I know God. Right. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. But we're gonna deal with some of those things, and yeah. I, I think it's a, it's a family affair. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna be dealing right. with that uh, next month. So I honor each and every, <clears throat> honor each and every one of you, um, and I bless God for what He's doing. Yeah. Man. I bless Him. Yes, sir. And so. To these great men of God that see on the rostrum, God bless you, Pastor Jefferson, Pastor Williams, God bless you uh, for your tireless effort uh, in this in this kingdom walk. Uh, to the missionaries that are here, to the deacon brethren, God bless you all. To this choir, yes, oh my God, to Brother Craig, God bless you, man. God has been too good to us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I don't know about y'all, but He's been too good to us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And I, and I really, I'm, I'm grateful. Because it could have been me. The world is, is really, and I'm going to get to where I need to go. But the world is, is really right now. Because of what happened in my daughter's town. Amen. Well, well, well. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you think, and, and, and hear me well when I say this. This is why it's important for worship. Yes. All right, all right. See, right here, right now, 
that when we began to talk to God, our angels are sending forth our words in, in order for them to manifest. Well, yes. well. Think about that for a second. Just, just, just for a moment. For these last three years, COVID has shunned our worship. Lord help, Lord help. Lord help. And that's what the enemy wanted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More people now are looking at looking at church from home. Mm -hmm. And I grew up. Church was not only a hospital, but it was a healing place. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And, and we're, we're falling victim to the enemy. Yes, we shut down churches, but hotels are still in operation. Oh, so yeah, amen. amen. They found out a way. Because everybody wasn't cooking. Huh. Restaurants were still open. Yes, sir. Walmart had the biggest quarter. Oh, y'all don't want to hear yeah, yeah, Come on now. But, but now look also what occurred in the midst of all. Look at the spirit that was running in the earth. Because what the enemy wanted, it happened. Church closed. Church club? Yeah. And we're the one? Yeah. They could have came together yeah. and God could have healed the lady? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look at us now. Yeah. We still mm -hmm. hidden in this. Lord help. Lord help. Mm -hmm. But look at the land. Mm -hmm. There's been more senseless killings than ever before. Have y'all heard that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Since COVID, I'm not saying that murdering is not out there because it's been happening. Yeah, so but you need to do the record, because I did. I went back and I looked. Huh. Mm -hmm. It's more. Yes. yes. Because the church is failing in our job. Lord, yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's yeah. time, you all, listen. Yes. It's time for our praise today is going to send healing to Memphis. Yes. Yeah. 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 I love God. That 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 he's a physicist. Yeah. I believe they said someone in quantum physics what happened here, same thing that's happening here can be happening elsewhere. Y'all yes. miss your opportunity yeah. to yeah. shout. Yeah. Yeah. I praise right here. Yeah. Even though Memphis is in a different time zone. Yeah. Yeah. My praise is gonna affect Memphis. Yeah. 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 My worship is gonna affect my children. My worship is gonna affect my family. My worship. It's real. Yeah, yeah. And you need to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. My, worship my worship is for real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My worship. Today, I, I kick off your feet, ladies. Get the, you, you know what? I want you to get the heels off of you. <laughs> Men, loosen up your ties. All right. All right. All right. We're going in today. We're going to be under the veil today. Yeah. 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 We got to get to the presence of the Lord because yes. we're going to stop a lot of these things that are going on in the earth. Yes. And I know we're not the only church that's talking about this this morning. No, 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 no. But there's a shifting that we can do with our praise. Yes. Boy, if, if, if only Jehoshaphat was here. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had help. Yeah. 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 I'm going to get you. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, but Jehoshaphat, when he was surrounded by him, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Right. What he, say? he said, go get the people. Yeah. Go get them. Yeah. 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 Let, let, let them. Let them start worshiping. He went to worship and they went to praise him. Yeah. The Bible says yeah. that the spirit came in and caused ambushments upon one another. Ooh. He never had to fight because God turned them on one another. Yeah. <laughs> praise is a major situation. I just gave somebody a hit. I don't care what confusion that's in your household. I dare you to praise it. Your confusion is going to get confused. And God is going to establish that situation. 
Oh, I wish I had you. Yeah. 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 Speak. God is absolutely he's good. He's awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's awesome. And, and, and we're we're gonna worship him. Yes, sir. Today. We're gonna yes, worship. Never could have made it. Say it, say it, say it, never. So I never could have made it without you. Yeah, yeah, say it, say it. I would have lost it all. But now I see how you were there for me and I can't. Now, 
but you do it for your glory. Yes. Father, I thank you. I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because it's all in your hands. But also, Father, we recognize that we've been lazy on the job. So we're coming for you. We're coming for you in worship, God. Download in us, God. Give us the zeal to want to know more about you. Give us the zeal to pray. Give us the zeal to fast. In the mighty name of Jesus, that this land would be healed. I declare it, I decree it. I believe in your word, God. And I'm thanking you. I thank you for answering. Because you've always answered. So I move right now. Allow this ministry here. God, I declare and decree this. That Father, that we would be the pillar in this community that's needed. Father, that the government will come and seek counsel. Because you are our governor. You are our president. And Father, I thank you right now. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Move like never before. Yes. Open spiritual eyes this morning. Yes. Open ears. Lord, loose it all, yes. We just want to get beyond the veil. Yes. We just want to bless you. Yes. That's all we want to do is bless you. We yes. want to stall you. Yes. We want to worship you. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. We pray, claiming the victory, yes. and we're counting it all joy. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Give God a hand to pray. We made it. We're here the last Sunday in the month. Part five, fresh start. Yes, sir. Part five, we. Lord, we dealt with some things, haven't we? Yes, uh, we dealt with the, the mantle. We, my God, we dealt with some things. Yes. We dealt with last Sunday that we, we've already come to Zion. Yes. And today, we're going to deal with the condition of imposition. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got a condition. And that condition is an imposition. Amen. I feel that we're going to close it out. I, I feel preaching today. I feel like preaching. You know, sometimes there's a teaching spirit that comes on me. And for the better part of this month, it's been a teaching spirit on me. But uh, but Deacon Clayton, I, I believe that you're refreshing. Yeah. You're refreshing over there in Hawaii. Yeah. Have just jumped on me. I, I feel preaching. Yeah. Is it all right? Is it all right if I can preach today? Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the pastor want to preach. Yeah. Now, 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 don't put it all on me. Now, because I need some worshipers. Are there any worshipers in the house? Yeah. Right. We know that our foundational text has been the Second Kings. All right. We're aware of that. Yeah. And if you notice these last couple of Sundays, we've ventured off from it in order to clarify and define what was going on there with Elisha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Right. And and right now, I'm going too far. Hold on. Lord, let, 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 I'm out of my wife. Oh my God, she's not here. But I honor that woman. Yeah. Lord right. Jesus. <laughs> I almost committed something right there. <laughs> the devil is alive. That woman is, is beyond special. Amen. 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 She has a way of soothing. Yeah. I saw a face before I came in here. And, and her face reminded me that everything was going to be all right. It was in conjunction with the Spirit of God. And she has a way, the way she looks at me. 
Shut your mouth. The way she looked at me, the way, the way, the way, the way. You know, when, when I got on the plane this morning, she just rubbed my head. <laughs> There's a way that she rubbed my head. And her hand says that I'm the only one. I honor my wife. I love her. And in my absence, God bless you, baby. I know you're watching. God bless you. All right, you all. Now let's get here. Now, that's our focus. We've been dealing with the different areas of how God affected Elisha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a, a, a brief recap. Elisha he details Elijah. Elijah asks him, hey, hey listen, man, I'm finna go. I, I look, my assignment is up on this, yeah. on this earth, and I gotta go, but if there's anything that I can leave with you. Well, well, well. Um, he said, well, look, I, 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 I want a double portion of your spirit. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. and, and we found out what that was. Yeah. We found out the mental disposition right. that Elisha was looking for. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Um, but we also found out in that, he said, if you see me, if you see the revelation, mm. I'm catch oh, that. He, oh, said, yeah. he said, if you see the revelation of who it is behind, that's it. That, that's that, it. That's who's orchestrating this, uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. you can have. Yeah. It's a hard thing for me to give to you. Yeah. Right. yeah. Because I can't give you something that you don't know who's power. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. He says, so if you see it, take it. Yeah. Yeah. He says, it'll happen. Yeah. Just so happen that he saw it. Yeah. And the mantle fell. Huh. Wasn't so much of the mantle. The fact that he had to run and go get that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. 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 Uh, uh, right. What you want for you, you're gonna have to run and go get. Yeah. Right. Stop looking for God to just bring stuff to you. The Bible says faith without works is dead. So he ran and he got it. Yeah. Well. Now what you notice there's a comma there, so there's a rest uh, there. So we don't know how much time, Pastor. We don't know how much time that took, but we do know that when he got to a place. Yes, sir. He got to a place and he says, where is the God of Elijah? All right. where? <clears throat> and he hit and the, and the waters departed. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Which allows us to know that he had began to operate in the mental disposition yeah. Right. Yeah. of Elijah. Yeah. All right. So, he gets the mantle, he taps it, of course, you know, there's prophets in the land. Yeah. Um, the major prophet, the premier prophet, he's gone. Uh -huh. He's out the door. And you got 50 prophets. All right. They have been prophesied all this night. You know that, that, that your master is going to leave you. All right. yeah. yeah. But one thing they didn't know. Mm -hmm. They could tell something. Yeah. But they had no understanding. Ooh. We have to be mindful on what God shows yeah. and not ask for the, the understanding of it. Uh -huh. We got to be careful. It's easy uh -huh. yeah. to see something. Well, well, but do you understand? Yeah. 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 So, so he, 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 he simply, they tell me, look, um, they went off and angered him to look for Elijah. He didn't want him to, but nevertheless, they did. But when they came back, they had a problem. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Coming from Jericho, they noticed that the city was pleasant. Right. All right. Yeah. The water was bad. Was bad. Yeah. And the ground was bad. Yeah. All right. Nothing's wrong with God Church, which is representative of the city. Mm. Nothing wrong with God Church. My Lord. But now we can operate in some wicked spirits, can't we? Everybody in church don't have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It's a problem, it's a problem, it's a problem. And, and, and because everybody in the church don't have the Holy Ghost, watch this, uh, Brother Ted, everybody don't have the Holy Ghost. If, if everybody don't have the Holy Ghost, that means the ground that you walk on become barren. It becomes dead. And, and watch this. But because Elijah uh -huh. asked God, 
or ask, ask for the devil portion. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wanted the mantle. It wasn't so much of the mantle. See, you got to have the mindset to handle the anointing. The mantle is the mindset to handle the anointing. And if you don't have the mindset, you can get baptized. You can go down and come back up the same if you got the same mind. See, the conversion happens before you accept it. Okay, okay. Okay, we, we're not going to go there. So look, so we're dealing with an imposition. So, so in other words, Elisha opened himself to have a condition. Ooh. And the condition was a condition of imposition. Yeah. Yes. Go to Ephesians um, 2 and 10, and we're going to see what this imposition. Ephesians 2 and 10. I feel God in this place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise it. Praise it. I feel, I, listen, I, I, I feel him like never before. Mm. Watch this. For we are his workmanship, yeah. created in Christ. Somebody shout, we. 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 Y'all stand up for the reading of God's word. I apologize yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. I told you I feel like preaching. Come on. Right. I feel it today. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Yeah. Amen. Somebody shout that there's something about that unto there. There's something about that unto. We'll get back to it. <laughs> see, see, everything that's in scripture, there's a meaning behind it. Okay, yeah. all right, here we go. Which God hath before ordained that we should walk in it. All right. You may be seated. All right, all right. He ordained that you should walk in them. He ordained that you and I should walk in them. Notice that I should. That's how he designed. But if you don't have the right mental disposition, you never will attain it. All right, Paul said to say, look what Paul does. He says to say, he's declaring that the, the, the image of the believer, if you go to, if, if you really go to the verse number one, you give the salutation, he gives you a greeting, he, he ends up thanking the Ephesians uh, in verse number three, but then in four and five, he treats and he deals with our election. All right. Wow. Notice that. Now, he appeals. If, if you look there, now, 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 between 6 and 10 is what we're, we're pinning right there, 10. He deals with grace like never before. Mm-hmm. Notice, I want you to understand this as, the, as a declaration of grace, as a definition of grace. Uh-huh. It is not only unmerited favor, uh-huh, uh-huh. but grace empowers you. Yes. Uh-huh. yes. I'm say that again. It empowers yes, sir. Yes, sir. you. It gives you power. All right. Okay? Praise it. It is oh. Jesus that he defeated the enemy. Uh-huh. He did. He Nothing that you did. Yeah. All right. He defeated the enemy. That's right. Came with the victory in his hand and, and put it in yours. Yeah. And made you more than an overcomer. Yeah. Uh, Lord. That's what Jesus uh, Lord. Lord. Yeah. It empowered you. Since it empowered you, uh-huh. Paul began to passionately speak about this disposition. Yes. He began to speak about it. He's showing how the aid of the Holy Spirit brought all of this into play. Yeah. See, this is what opens the door for how God could allow David. David. Right. Mm. To hear a conversation that was going on in him. See, Psalms 8, oh my God. God allows David to hear. God listening to Lucifer. 
Let, let, let me break down something right quick. Since we're going beyond the veil, let me break down something right quick. Lucifer was an anointed cherub. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. The cherub, it protected the knowledge of God. Wow. Lucifer know everything about you. My Lord. Because you're the knowledge of God. Oh, Jesus. My Lord. You're walking with me? Yeah. All right, now. This is how. They didn't say our character know how to get next to you. Lord help. Lord help. Oh. Huh. This is the way I, 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 that, that, that the spirit of Beyonce get on a man without ever knowing it's a put a ring on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, see, the enemy knows what makes you tick. But now watch this. Now the enemy is testifying about your goodness. Look at these Psalms. Go to Psalms 8. I'm about to go to work in a minute now. Psalms 83. Look at what it says. David says he, he, he breaks out. Now watch this. He breaks out in three. But then in four, Lucifer gets to talk. <laughs> when I consider thy heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained. Now Luz began to speak. What is man that thou art mindful of? Look at the text you want. And the son of man that thou visit. For thou, he's talking to God. He said, you made him a little lower than the angels. We're going to pause right there. Because angels there, when you look at it in your concordance, it's talking about the God here. The truth. Look at it in your concordance. You made him a little lord. He said, you made him a little lord than you. Because you made him in your image. You made him a little lower than the angel and has crowned him with glory and honor. That's delegated authority and delegated power. The enemy knows what you possess. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sad thing is that we don't know what we possess. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Thou made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Uh -huh. And thou hast put all things. Right. Well, not anything. Right. He said all. Oh. Why? Y'all gotta help me here. Yeah, yeah. If 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 he put all things, uh -huh. why are we bowing down to sicknesses, diseases? Ooh. Why are we bowing down to mentalities and thoughts? Uh -huh. Why are we bowing down to to economic crises? Why are we bowing down when he put all things under our feet? Uh -huh. yeah. You know the woman of God. She was she was speaking and, and, and she was praying. When she was speaking before she started praying, she said, listen, I, we're just going to give him thanks. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to give him thanks because according to Peter, by his divine power, God has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Yeah. Yeah. He's given it to us, but yeah. we're sitting here and don't want to walk in our authority. Yeah. 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 My Lord. My Lord. I don't know about you all, yeah. Yeah. but the book stops here. Yeah. You better tell the enemy, enemy, you can't charge me double for what Christ already paid for. He paid the price. Gave you election. There's three things that I want to deal with because David was speaking about the condition of imposition. The same thing that Paul was speaking about. But there's three things I want to place in the spirit. I want to deal, the first thing I want to deal with is the benefit. All right, all right. The second thing I want to deal with is the benefit. All right. The third thing I want to deal with is the benevolence of grace. All right. My Lord, my Lord. Before anything, before the blanket was thrown out uh -huh. and, the, and the stars were placed there, uh -huh. before the moon, before <clears throat> constellations, it was always I am. Uh -huh. <laughs> Notice that when Jesus told him, he told him, he said, listen, before Abraham was I am, yeah. 
reminding them and, and letting him know um, that eternity has no beginning. Y'all will catch that in a minute. Eternity has no beginning. It's always. Yes, sir. And see, and we, we can get caught up talking about our future. Uh -huh. But where is the future when you're dealing with the eternal God? Oh, this is why by his divine power, he's given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Because we deal with seasons, but God deal with eternity. All right. All right. See, when we, when we look at I am, mm -hmm. I am has no future reference. It has no time preference. No, 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 no. It is. It is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am here. Yes, sir. That's right. <laughs> so it, we can get caught up in, and I believe it's called the chronos. See, we get caught up in the chronos. We get caught up in time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But what this word is trying to get us to focus on is the Kairos. Mm. All right. That's God's time. Mm. And see, when you deal with God's time, yeah, yeah. you're able to override the chronos. Yeah. Whatever comes to you in time. Uh -huh. See, see, sickness is a time-oriented thought. Uh -huh. mm. Talk, talk, talk. Sickness is a premature form of death. Let me go a little deeper. The enemy comes to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. It never said that he came to get you sick. No. It's a premature form of death that's waiting to get a hold to you. And then you succumb to it and die. When all you have to do is recognize that you have glory and you have up. You can speak a word to whatever situation that's trying to befall you, and that situation has to bow down. All right, all right. I read that in the scripture that he put all things under our feet. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the text. Now look, look, look. The heavens were spoken into existence, but eternity has always been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. If watch for me was here, spiritual authority, watch for me was here. The only reason uh, uh, he, he found out reading in John, watch for me, did he found out about spiritual authority. And, and the question was asked when I was studying in watch for me, the question was asked, well, why didn't Lucifer be forgiven? Hmm. 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 Puzzled me for a moment. I went before the Lord and I said, man, God, he's right, why? And then God began to speak to me. He said, see, there's a difference between conduct sin. Hmm. But then sinning against spiritual authority. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's deep. Oh, that's deep. Let, let, me, let me step here for a second. Now watch this. When God decided to create the Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit, when he decided to create, yeah. I don't want to go too deep, you all. But when he decided to create right. the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost, when he decided, talk, talk. what he noticed was, is that the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit was one. Yeah, my Lord. Man. There was no spiritual authority. Yeah. Because authority says that you got to have somebody to be obedient. Mm. Wow. Amen. Huh. See, see, listen, listen. If everybody is following direction, everybody is on one accord, yeah. there's no need for a child person. No. 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 Does that make sense? No. Now, so in the heavens, now watch this. God said, now look, I am creator God. Yeah, uh -huh. But what is a creator without any subjects? Oh, Jesus. Mm. Say that. Mm. Say that. What is a creator without any subjects? So he creates the seraphim. He creates yeah. the cherubim. Yeah. 
He creates angels. He, he creates the heavenly host and he, and he spits out and allows the constellations to be. Yes. Something occurred. I gotta rush on through. I gotta rush on. Something occurred. Yeah, yeah. See, if you ever notice something is strange in Genesis, verse number one and verse number two. Have you ever noticed that? Go to Genesis one, one, two. It says, "In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth." Notice there's a period behind Earth. Yeah. Okay. It's a period, right? Okay. If there's a period behind Earth, if you look at verse number ten in Genesis, it said, "And the dry land He called Earth." Let's go back to one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the dry land. Yeah. Ooh. But then number two says this, and the earth was without form and void. Yeah. Judgment came upon the earth for something. Yeah. Y'all ever notice that? Huh. How can everything be complete? But then in verse number two, all of a sudden, Bahu void confusion, because that's what Bahu told. It means confusion. In the, in the, the Bible that I read is that one thing that God is, He ain't confused. So something happened between verse number one and then verse number two. Y'all see that now? It was right there. I'm giving you all, uh, giving you all uh, some eschatological, some spirituality here. So what happened was this is where. Lucifer tried to overthrow God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Theologians call it the gap theory. Uh -huh. It's where he tried to overthrow. But now I read and Isaiah, he said that I'm going to be like God. Y'all yeah. uh -huh. missed it. No, 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 no. He, said, he, said, he said, look, I'm going to exalt my throne above the stars of God and I'm going to be like the most high God. And see, what I'm trying to tell you, there are some things that you may face and you think that it's God driven, but you've got to have an understanding to know that God, everything that he do is good. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. everything. Amen. So the enemy, the enemy don't want you. See, that's why he knew about it. When God created the chip. He said, this knowledge I want you to protect. Did you ever notice there were cherubims on the Ark of the Covenant? Mm. It gives you the picture of heaven. Mm. Lucifer went wrong. So you always have one renegade angel. <laughs> one angel with a hood rat mentality. <laughs> Look at the name and say, just one. And he wanted, and then he wanted to, now, now God created him, he said, no, I, I, I got some boys on my side. <laughs> See, the creative mind houses everything seen and unseen. Yeah. And see, this is important when you understand the benefactor. See, who gave you what he gave you is without repentance. Yeah. Sad, sad. Gifts and callings are without repentance. Mm -hmm. right. I know you all. I know I, I was under the same doctrine when when uh, we would hear our parents say, "Now if you don't sing for the Lord, He gonna take your voice." And that ain't what the Bible said. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your neighbor now, and that, that was a good scare tactic. Yeah, Tell your neighbor that was a good scare tactic for the mom was so got me in the choir. She so got me in the choir. But that ain't mine. Sound good. Yeah. You know, God, we don't want you to take your voice. <laughs> well, what about Michael Jackson? <laughs> what about Teddy Pendergrass? Right. <laughs> what about Barry White? <laughs> All of them. He never took bail. Right. <laughs> but it never done, on this day. No. <laughs> but because we were under authority. Yeah. You're walking with me? Yeah. Yes. Now what God, what the benefactor has done, the benefactor has set us up. Yeah. He set us up with authority uh -huh. and delegated power. Yeah. 
It's up to us to tap into it. It's there. It's there. And so we got to understand that it, and it's this power right here. It opposed the world. Look, Hebrews 1 and 3 said, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. If God says it, it's done. See, the word can't be canceled out. God cannot say no to himself. And he's taking the time to, 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 to create you and I. He took the time to create us. He blew himself inside of us. And it changed the dynamics. Yeah. See, your worship, that's why I just told him the other day. I, I said, if, if you don't want to praise God, get out the way. Yes, yeah. Because the breath in your body will praise him. Then yes, everything that have breath praise the Lord. You get out the way and God will praise himself. Yeah. Paul makes it known. He, he, he says, listen. He's making known who's responsible for your blessing. When you read there in Ephesians 1, he let you know, he said, look, God has put you in heavenly places. He has blessed you. Right. He has chosen you. Yeah. Right. Now, if if he's blessed you, he's chosen you, he put you in, in heavenly places, yeah. Yeah. that also means that he's empowered you. Yeah. 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 Because there's a condition of imposition. See, there's a marker that's set for me. It was set. Genesis 1 and 26 says it like this. He said, look, let us, uh -huh. the Godhead got together, let us yeah. make man. Right. Now, if God could have had a first thought, his first thought would have been all thoughts. Yeah. He's an eternal God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So everything that he does is done eternally. We just so happen to get caught up in this thing uh, uh, called sin that Adam brought in. Yeah. Right. Adam brought sin in. So, so David said we were born in sin yet we were shaped in iniquity. He brought it in. But somebody shot a condition of imposition. There's some things that God did that won't allow sin to affect you. That's a mark for man. Because in man there's a God factor. Yes. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Right. There's a God factor inside of you. Yeah. And see, and, and, and because this factor is inside of you, he don't look at your right now. He look at your finished product. Oh, Jesus. Because there's some development that's got to go on. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's your finished product that he's looking at. He's an eternal God. Yes, Who Jesus? Right. <laughs> See, watch this, because the benefactor has already counted up the cost. Amen. What man goes to war without first counting up the cost? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Do you know that he already knew? He already knew that you were going to commit adultery. Oh, y'all don't want to hear about that. He knew that you were going to be a liar. He knew that. But he still blessed you. He still put you in heavenly places. And I don't understand why. Why we look at God and what God is doing for us. We want to look down at a person that don't look like us. Come on now. And I'm glad that I got the benefactor. I'm glad that I know the benefactor because the benefactor is my partner. Yeah. And, and, and see, in his mind, he know what I look like. Yeah. It don't matter what none of you say about me. What matters is, is what he thinks of me and what he said about me. There's going to be some folk that's going to be talked about. There's going to be some folk that's going to be lied on. And I'm telling you, you better count it all time.
That's what I'm going to, I'm creating you. And right before I put you in the kennel, I made sure that I put something in there that allowed you to withstand some fire. I don't know about y'all, but I'm in love with my heart. Yes. Yes. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's a benefactor. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The benefit, the benefit. See, the believer benefits. Second thing I want to deal with is benefit. And the believer benefits from the benefactor. Yeah. Well. Have you ever noticed? I, I love Genesis. Obviously, you know that I love Genesis because everything is answered in the first three chapters of Genesis. I don't care where you read, where you go to, it all falls back to those first three chapters. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No matter what. Um, and so when I think about the creator and he was creating us and in when he spoke how we were going to be it was the raw material that, that, that blew my mind mm. Mm. because the cre creation was the blueprint uh -huh. huh. it was in the dust that we were formed. Yes, sir. Now, Revelation 13 and 8 says it like this. The Lamb was crucified yes, before the foundation of the world. Y'all just missed. <laughs> see, before, see, I told you he's an eternal God. Yes, sir. Look at what happened. Before you and I came here, see, what we've gone through is just a rehearsal. He simply did it like this. He, he allowed Jesus to be slain. Yeah. And when he formed us, we were formed by the, the blood that was inside of the dust. Somebody shout God factor. God factor. See, see, that's really how Adam was able to be placed inside the garden. Huh. Wow. Adam saw the outside of the garden how it was to be without God. Yeah. Thorns and thistles. Yeah. But then when God blew himself inside of him, huh. activated the blood. Activated. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah. He placed him inside of the garden. Because yeah. everything that was in there, huh. everything that was inside of him pointed to redemption. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Somebody shout, I'm benefited. I'm benefited. So Job, Job said it like this. He said, when I come through the fire, just like people go. Yeah, oh, yeah. He said, but he know it the way that I take. No, uh -huh. I'm going to tell y'all something. We got a cold God. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We got a cold God. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all don't mind me, you know, getting a little bit of, you know, love your bonnets. Our God is, whoo, Listen to him. Awesome. Awesome. He knoweth the way that I'll take. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when he had tried me, I shall come forth yes. yes. as pure gold. Yes. 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 So do y'all see how the potter, mm -hmm. how he gave us a condition of in position. He put something inside of us that have allowed us to withstand the hell that we come up against. Because we're the workmanship, we're created in Christ. Yeah. See, this is what provides us with glory and honor. You got delegated authority, you got delegated power. God created you with, I don't know about y'all, but see, sometimes I wake up and I tell them like this, God, you created me to win today. I can't lose. I don't, I, don't, I don't care what's coming against me. I can't lose. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I can't lose. He's given me dominion. He put everything under me. I can't lose. See, that situation that you're dealing with, you got to tell it. You have no authority. God created me 
to win because I, I got a I got a God factor inside of me. I, I'm imposed with the win factor in my DNA. Ephesians three twenty said now to him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly. See above whatever you can ask or think. I don't know about y'all, but I, I got a win factor in. I became a conqueror the moment that he blew his blew it within my nostrils. Because I have a condition of imposition. This God factor is finally inside of this man factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, and I don't care. Oh, Lord. Come on, come on. Boy, you're about to make me run. Come on. <laughs> he quit me with an authority. Yeah, oh, yeah. An authority. Now, watch this. An authority that make an angel hearken huh. to my words. Watch this. Are they not all ministering spirits? Yeah. Sent to minister to the hands of salvation? Yeah. Angels are ready for the word of the Lord. And they're going to move. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. So you need to look over and look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's given me the authority to trample over scorpions and serpents. Praise it. Yeah, the enemy is going to come with everything that he's got, but, but I got a God factor inside of him. And see, when I think about it, I'm like David, now when I think about it, the works of his hands, it gives me thanksgiving. See, see, see you got to finally start thinking about, Lord, you created all of this, and in the midst of all of this, you put yourself inside of me. Not only you deal with the benefactor, huh? We deal with the benefit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now let's look at the benevolence of grace. And get ready to fare you well. As I said earlier, we oftentimes look at grace. We look at grace as if it's purely unmerited favor. And it is. Right. But grace is also uh -huh. empowered. All right. It is God that won the victory. Yeah. If my mama Dees was here, one of the fathers of the church, he would say that God cut the head of the snake off. Mm -hmm. And all you're dealing with is the movement of the body. Yeah. All right, all right. See, we can get scared just because a snake body is moving, we don't want to run. But if you stay there long enough, you'll see that the movement will stop. Yeah, yeah. And I just want you to know the situations and circumstances that you're coming up against. All right, all right. Is already defeated because he won the victory. He gave you the victory. He gave it to you. Yes, See, this is grace. He gave to you made you more than an overcome. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So when we look at the text right there in 2 and 10 of Ephesians, I told you all that the word unto it means something. All right. The word unto is the key the word unto. to all of verse 10. Hmm. That little word unto. And it was right there that we find out what it was that God did for us. What, 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 what? Unto in the Greek, the word is epic. Uh -huh. And uh, it means that he's, he's superimposed his goodness inside of us. He superimposed, watch this, of time, place, and order, uh -huh. a distribution that is over and above. Uh -huh. Say that again because I, I, I think you just may have missed it. Uh -huh. See what Jesus did in the finished work of the cross. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, I know you've heard preachers and pastors say that you were there. Uh -huh. Yes, you were. 
Isaiah 53, it shows a, a shift in your language when you read 3, 4. It shifts the language. And he said he bore our. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, when you see the word our, right there in the passion, Jesus took you upon himself. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. Yes, sir. Right. Where is it? And in the midst of him putting you upon himself. The Bible says, yes. Come on now. The Bible says that uh, we're created unto good works. Yeah. Yeah. The only way that we can do good works uh -huh. is that there got to be God inside of us.
that he finished the work inside of me. I'm so happy that he finished the work. I'm a finished partner. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor. Yes, 
success and we try to measure success with finances. But that's not success. Success is walking in your purpose and doing those little things consistent. That's success. And as a consequence, he will shower you with increase. That's what we desire. We desire for you to get to your purpose. Do we have one? Somebody may be saying that, Pastor, I don't feel worthy. I don't, I don't feel worthy. I don't. I, I, I don't feel that I'm, I'm ready to come into the church. And you may be online that's listening to this. I want you to understand that the Holy Spirit is here to restore you. God looks at your finished product. He looked at you. He's not looking at you right now. And I don't want you to put such a heavy burden on you when he's already taken them away. If you want to be a part of this, you may be in another stage, another region. But we have covenant partners that you can be a part of this ministry as a covenant partner because our desire is is that you know we desire for you to have a relationship with Christ so send a message put in a message and say listen I want to be a, a covenant partner I want to be a part of a Bible believing church you'll always be able to join us in Bible study we do Zoom we do in person, so we have both avenues. Our desire is for you to be saved. Yeah. 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 And then that, none of those things may apply to you. You, you may be in, in fellowship with God, you've been baptized, you have a church home. But somebody may be saying, but you know what, Pastor, I need prayer. There's some things that I'm struggling with and I just need another believer yes. to pray with you, to walk with you. Do we have one?
you'll do it. God has a way. By the hope, substantial spirit inside of you, the Holy Ghost, he has a way of speaking to us.
They need to see you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father, show up. Show up. Remind them of this prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Remind them, God, that the finances have never been in the job. Yeah. But it's always been in the worship. Oh, Jesus. Do it for your glory. Do it for your glory. Yes. And we want to just give you what's yours, and that's worship. Yes. You do our worship. Do it for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for giving us provision. Thank you for the condition of your position. That we're able to stand against all foes. Because we're conquerors. In Jesus' mighty name, let every heart say amen. I want you to face the walls and come on around so I can come back. Fifth Sunday, the benevolence offering is for the mission this Sunday. Did you recognize an offering? Jody for her sinus condition. Let's pray for Sister Barbara Perez, lost her son. Sister Caitlin Lawson for thoughts of suicide. Mm -hmm. Mary and Pohola, thank you, for COVID. For follow-up? Follow Who is it? Is it follow-up? Floma, Floma Duckworth, pray for the Duckworth, McCoy, Glass, and Brown families. Healing prayer for Jade, and Jean, and Margaret. And let's keep Sister Bell in prayer for the employment search. Amen. Amen. Good 
bless the Lord for what we have heard, what our hearts have felt, and we know that there are individuals on this list that need to feel the power that the pastor was preaching about. Amen? Yeah. So we're going to come together and pray for them that that might be real in their lives. Let us bow together now. Eternal God, we celebrate you. You are the one and only great God. And there's no one like you. Lord God, we thank you for the truth that you created us to have dominion. And Lord God, even though we live in a fallen world, even though there's darkness in this world, there is healing. There is light. There is recovery. So God, we lift up those on this list. For Joni and her sisters, for Barbara, who lost her son, for Caitlin, who's thinking of doing herself harm, for Mary Ann, who's struggling with COVID, for Floma, Lord, who her whole family is asking for prayer, and, and the Glass and Brown families, Lord, for Jade and Jean and Margaret, Lord, we bring them to you, and we bring, Lord, Charlotte to you, and we pray, Father, for others who may not have voiced their need. We say, Father, thank you that you're greater than all our need. Thank you, Lord, that you can make the difference in every situation. Heavenly Father, we celebrate you. Lord God, we lift up this congregation. We lift up this pastor, and we pray, Father, that you would just bind them together, that they might bring glory to your name. Lord God, we thank you that you can do everything but fail. We thank you that you know how to bless and make a difference. And Lord, we thank you in advance for hearing our prayer. We give you the glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Bless you, Pastor Williams. God bless you. It's been indeed a pleasure and an honor to me. Such an awesome spirit. Yes. To the lovely wife. Of course, your mom always had that love. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 And, and to you, Pastor Jefferson, God bless you. Amen. Let's give this musician a hand of praise. Amen. Amen. Now, it has always been said about Friday, which is a business week. We look for everyone to be out. Let us come out more. Um, we're going to try and get away from these um, um, COVID has. COVID has really done a number to us. We're going to have to believe that, that what we do, we do for the kingdom, that we're already protected. We're already delivered. So I want you to keep that in mind. So let's come out. Let's come out of numbers. And let's continue to come out of numbers. Amen. Um, also, you know, we've been talking about these pledges. And I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Maybe you're online. It's a pleasure we're getting ready to expand. Get some, um, some more office space and classroom space. Amen. 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 And so what we're doing, I want y'all to remember this. What we're doing is that we're coming in agreement with one another. Okay? The pledge is establishes agreement. That I'm in agreement. I honor these trustees. I honor them. How many trustees are in it? Could you stand? Could the trustees stand? Trustees, all right. Trustees, okay, we got two there. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, the chairman is right there. All right, you may be seated. Let me celebrate you all, and I'm going to continue to do this because you all have one of the greatest times. Uh, what you did through COVID was amazing. Yeah, amen. I'm just going to flex for you. And I know this, and I know you all can get some slack. I know you can get some slack. But what you all done, and able to come out of it and say, you know what, you all, we still got to do what we set out to do. Right. Which means that you all have been financially strong in handling the finances. Amen. And so I, I salute you. Yeah. I salute the spirit within you. Amen. Um, so we're going to be in agreement with the trustees, you all. Again, for those that have not set the pledge, we're going to pledge, we're going to have this money in by the end of the year, so we have time. So, we have a $1,000 pledge, which is the platinum. We have $750, okay, which is the gold. And then we have the $500, which is silver. And then the $250, that's bronze. And many of you have already made commitment, and I want to thank you. Um, Mother Roberta, she must be in the back, uh, but she has a list that she, I don't see there. Uh, that those that want to make sure you sign your name, and I got to put two other names on there that uh, that said that they would definitely pledge. So those are some of the things that we'll be talking about as well um, on Friday. So we are we're moving forward. Now there's naysayers, and I feel that in my spirit. Well, the church isn't full, and why are we building? Well, you never look at your now. We're just like Jesus. We don't look at your now. We look at the finished product. So we work in conjunction with what our words are playing. Because the growth is inevitable. That's how it goes. Okay? So we're not going to look at that. I mean, if I had a nickel for every complaint, I promise you I'd be a billionaire. So we're not stuck on that. What we're going to do is what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to celebrate while we do it. So we're going to come into agreement. All right? Okay, with that being said, uh, did, you, did you have something that you wanted to talk about? Something that he to say. Something he wants. We're going to talk about coming back in here for Sunday school. Amen. But it's going to need some talking about it. Because we have older people that can't get in. So we want to make sure that they're going to be included. But we're going to do this right away. And Pastor wants to implement breakfasts. When they restart doing breakfasts back there again, we're going to need everybody to help. Yeah. We don't want to leave one person back there trying to clean that kitchen after all that cooking is done and can't even come to hear pastor preach. So, absolutely, that's so right. So that's some things that we got to do, and this will help us move forward too. Amen. God bless y'all. I'm willing to do anything I got to do. Amen. I'm Amen. flexible. Amen. Okay. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Any ideas? Let me know. You don't have no idea, so talk about me behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a hand of praise. <laughs> it, 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 I, I'll be cooking, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I can cook. I'll be somebody. I, look, I am from the I am from the south. Yeah, yeah. Don't let the suits fool you. <laughs> <laughs> so look, the men. The men, we're going to stand together and we're going to cook. Um, and we're going to also clean. But we are. We're going to need, you know, we'll, we'll start this out probably the second Sunday in um, in February. Look, listen, you all. And, and I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Every time we open this, open the doors here, and even when we're going, because things are still being borrowed, it costs, right? Yes. We understand also that when we take up offerings and things of that nature, it helps the bottom line, okay? And so if you think about it, for two, three years, no Sunday school, that means no offering, no banner classes, you walk in with me? Yes, sir. I'm gonna tell you all something. It, 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 
it defunct, it can defunct the church. Amen. That's why I celebrate these trustees. I celebrate them. You hear me? Because they've done the tags. I know personally a hundred churches in Texas close their doors, no COVID. A hundred. So I'm gonna tell you something. That's just in Texas. I'm not even going to speak about it in Arkansas. So, this is what I'm saying right here. Let's believe God. Let's come to learn. I promise you, learning is fun. Those that go to Bible study, that be in Bible study, it's not learning fun. It's fun. I promise you all it's fun. Um, so definitely want to also, this Wednesday, we're going to have certain, we're going to have uh, Sunday school, I mean, Bible study um, in here. Of course, we'll still be online as well, but if you come out, I want you to come out because I have books that I'll be passing out. Books that I'll be passing out and that we'll start, we'll start in April on it. Um, dealing with spiritual levels, okay. spiritual identity, the difference between a, a Hebrew, a Jew, and an Israelite. It was never about nationalities, but it was always about spiritual levels. Mm -hmm. And so we'll be teaching that because all of us at some level, either you're Hebrew at this point, <laughs> either you are a Jew, or you're an Israelite. Okay? It was a spirit. Y'all didn't notice that? Uh, it was it was that. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna learn, we're gonna learn about this. It's very powerful. Um, so let's let's come out with so I'm gonna pass out those books. We still have homework. Amen. Have homework. And um, I'm going to make sure that uh, the sister uh, Brown, that she put that homework on Facebook so you can go and get it because we're coming in and we're going in hard, okay? Amen. So we've had fun last last Wednesday and we're going to have fun um, this Wednesday. So listen, y'all, come out. Tell a friend, tell a new friend. If something was said here today, that you know, push you to just want to know more about him. Come on. Whatever question you have, I promise you we'll deal with it. We'll take our time and we'll deal with it. That's a guarantee. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, would you stand? Jesus, whatever how I say, man.